So today I am starting vector algebra and in this vector algebra the topic is addition of two vectors, addition of more than two vectors here this is the polygon law and in case of addition of two vectors here we will study and we will discuss what triangle law of vector addition and parallelogram law of vector additions. Next subtraction of two vectors, unit vector representation of forces in terms of i, j and k, dot product and cross product. Okay, so let's start the addition of two vectors and you already read these things in your class 11th level. So let's start with addition of two vectors and it is just for your revisions also. So see here I am starting the addition of two vectors. Addition of two vectors. So, see if I consider an example that suppose if I consider a boy, this is the boy he is at a point. Now, he moved towards the east like this way, okay, towards the east, east and go to the point, okay. Then from B point, he moved to these directions and reach at C point. Now, if I want to ask you what is the resultant displacement, then what you will do your doing is that you just join from A to C point. This is your A to C point. This is your resultant displacement, right? So let's I am considering A B is represented by a vector bc is represented by small b vector and c here a to c it is represented by resultant that is what resultant vector that is r vector okay so c a vector so i can write like this way so c vector a plus vector b and c the opposite side of the triangle is ac this is the in opposite sense so r is written as vector a plus vector b okay so this is the sum of two vectors and see what is the magnitude of r so magnitude of r all of you know and these things is from class 11th level so magnitude of r is equal to root under a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta this is the what, what is the theta? Theta is the angle between a vector and b vector. So this is the a vector and direction of the a vector is this way and see the angle between a vector and b vector is this. This is the angle between a vector and b vector. This angle is your theta angle. Okay. Can you understood this one? So this is the r vector. Okay. Magnitude of the r vector. And see if you want to find out the direction. So direction will be what? So direction is this is what alpha how you can find out the value of alpha so this alpha is the angle with respect to the a vector right so how you can just see how you can find out the value of the alpha so here some derivations here now we are doing so how you can how this is coming also you have did it in class 11th level so again i am just discussing this one so see what we will do so from to prove these things from c I am drawing a perpendicular. This is D point. Okay. This is the D point. Right. So see, just try to understand here. A, C, D is the right angle triangle. Right. So you can write here A, C square. Hypotenuse is A, C square is equal to A, D square. A, D square. That is the base square is e plus C, D square right these things you can easily write so that means what so ac square is equal to ad ad means what you can write here ab plus what bd right it's square plus cd square okay understood now now if you expand these things that is ab square plus what you can write 2ab into bd 
plus b d square plus c d square right so see here you can see b d square plus c d square what is this meaning see here if you consider this triangle b c d if you consider the triangle here i am writing from the triangle b c d from the triangle b c d you can easily get b d square plus c d square is equal to what is equal to b c square right b c square okay so here i can write these things that is a b square plus 2 a b into b d plus b d square plus c d square means what b c square right so i can write like this way so a c square is equal to a b square plus 2 a b into b to b d plus b c square and see here a b means what a b is the length of a b vector is a length of b c vector is b here i am assuming so a b is the vector and a b vector magnitude is a right same way b c vectors magnitude is what b so just keep in this mind so a c square is equal to a b square plus 2 a b into b d but what is the value of this b d b d value same way i consider the triangle b c d so b d divided by this is base by b c is equal to what so sine theta so c b d is equal to b c into cosine theta right so you can just apply this one so a b square plus q into a b and in place of b d i am writing here b c cos theta so here i am replacing that is b c cos theta plus b c square so simply a c a c is the vector r so same way i can write the magnitude of a c is equal to r so in the magnitude terms so r square is equal to what i can write a b square a b square means a square plus b c square b c square means here what b c square means c here small b square plus 2 into a b means a b c means b understood so this is the value of r square so you can easily get the value of r is equal to root under a square plus b square plus 2 a b cos theta okay so these things you have got okay so this is the resultant of the vectors and this is the triangle law of vector additions right and uh, how you can find out the value of alpha so see if you want to find out the value of alpha here i am writing so see here tan alpha is equal to i can write here tan alpha so simply tan alpha is equal to what perpendicular td by base ad right and see cd is cd i am writing ad is equal to what ab plus bd okay this is the tan alpha now see so tan alpha is equal to cd by ab plus bd and see bd value already we have find out bc cos theta and see cd value we don't know so cd we have to express in terms of b vector b so see here i can write here so see how you can take same same i am taking this bcd triangle so here i am writing cd is perpendicular divided by bc is equal to your sine theta right so you can easily get cd is equal to bc sine theta okay so see this one so same you are now substituting the value cd is equal to bc sine theta you substitute bc sine theta and ab plus bd so see here ab plus bd means what the beauty means here bc cos theta so i am writing here bc cos theta so tan alpha means this one so see tan alpha if tan alpha is this equal to so tan alpha is equal to bc bc means what b small b sin theta 
divided by AB means A. Step by step, you can understood. So C, this is equal to again B, B cos theta. So this is the tan alpha value. So alpha is equal to you can easily write tan inverse B sine theta divided by A plus B cos theta. Okay. So this is your what? This is your alpha. Alpha is the what? Angle with respect to a vector, right? If I ask you, if try to understand, if beta is the angle with respect to b vector, right? Beta is the angle with respect to b vector. Suppose, for example, so what you can write here in this situation? So, okay, if beta is angle angle here alpha is the angle between a vector and r vector if beta is the angle between what r vector and b vector right so in this situation just you have to remember this formula tan beta is equal to tan beta here tan alpha is equal to just in place of you have to interchange in place of b you will write a and in place of a you will write b so see here you will write here a sin theta divided by what b plus a cos theta okay so this way you have to recall okay so okay so these things is for your triangle law this is the derivations of resultant of the two vectors ne next we are considering this is the triangle law of vector additions okay so here this thing is your triangle law of vector addition so see here i am writing triangle law of vector additions law of vector additions this is the triangle law so this is the triangle law of vector additions next we consider this one next we consider what parallelogram law of vector additions okay next we are consider the parallelogram law of vector additions okay Parallel parallelogram law of vector addition so see what is the parallelogram law of vector addition same way if i consider this o point a vector and b vector both are acting right so this is what so in case of force suppose a is a force vector and b is a force vector then we can say it is a concurrent force right so see and they are making angle theta and see if i consider these two i will see these two vector as an adjacent side of parallelogram so see if i consider these two vector as an adjacent side of the parallelogram so see this one is the vector so parallelogram i am considering so see this resultant vector represent which one the diagonal of the parallelogram represent the resultant vector so r vector this is the resultant of the two vectors it is actually c the diagonal of the parallelogram so this is point is o this point is o a this point is b and this point is c so same way if this is the a vector this is the b vector and c here ob vector and ac vector just see here if i consider the triangle if i consider the triangle o a c o a is a vector and o b and parallelogram this ac length and o b length are same so i can write here ac vector is also equal to your b vector right and see here what i can write a vector plus b vector a plus b is equal to r right in case of triangle law also you can apply here triangle oac is equal to a vector plus b vector is equal to r vector okay so this is the parallelogram law and here same things you are getting the magnitude of r is equal to root under a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta and same way if you want to find out the alpha alpha if you want to find out so alpha is equal to what so tan alpha same formula alpha is the angle making with respect to a vector so formula is here 
d sin theta divided by a plus b cos theta. Understood? So this way, this is the parallelogram law and deriva derivations is same like the triangle law. So this is the parallelogram law of vector addition and here we have adding two vectors. But if I want to add more than two vectors, then which law will be used? That is the polygon law. Okay. So here next law is your polygon law of vector addition and all so next one is your polygon law of vector addition. Polygon law of vector. It is just like the triangle law. For example, here, if I consider O point and at O point, suppose A vector, just see this is the A vector, B vector, here this is the C vector and this one is the D vector. So, what is the resultant vector? I mean, suppose if I consider that at point O, A force, B force, C force, D force are acting. So, what is the resultant force at point O? So, in this situation, you have to apply what? Polygon law of vector additions. So, see what I am doing. So, try to understand the concept. Just see, this is the A vector I am representing. So, head of the A vector, from the head of the A vector, I will draw this B vector, right? So, this B vector is this one. Okay. Again, from the head of the B vector, I will draw the C vector, right? This way, I will draw. And same way, from the head of the C vector, I will draw the D vector. I will draw the D vector. So, see here, I will draw the D vector, right? So, resultant vector is what? Resultant vector is equal to what? Suppose, for example, here, this is the A vector, okay? So resultant vector here just I am drawing this diagram at point O. So suppose if I consider this point is your uh, A point, B point, C point, D point, E point. So your resultant vector will be in which directions? Resultant vector will be in these directions. So AE is the resultant vector and polygons law say that what vector R is equal to vector A plus vector b plus vector c plus vector d okay how it comes it is very simple things so here to prove this one just see i am joining from a point to c point i am joining from a point to d point right so see here so see here triangle a b c if i consider the triangle a b c so try to understand here from the triangle ABC, the resultant vector is what? AC. AC is the resultant vector. So if AC is the resultant vector, so I can write here AC is equal to what? AB vector plus BC vector. It is very simple. AC, C, AB plus BC and C. The AC vector is in the opposite sense. So AB vector is equal to A vector and BC vector is equal to your B vector. And same way, AC vector is equal to this one and if I consider next triangle, that is what triangle ACD, ACD triangle. So from the actually application of the polygon law parallelogram, it will be very necessary if you want to solve the numerical problem. Okay. So triangle ACD is equal to what? Triangle ACD is equal to AD is the vector, AD vector is equal to what? AC vector plus CD vector, right? Why? Because AC vector plus CD vector is equal to AD vector. And see, AC is equal to what? A vector plus B vector, right? AC vector means, and CD vector means what? Vector C. So what you are getting? Vector A plus vector B plus vector C. Okay. Now, last triangle we are considering that is the triangle a e d from this triangle we can write here c a g vector plus d e vector is equal to a e vector so here i am writing a e vector is equal to a d vector plus d e vector right so a d vector means what so a d vector means c already you 
know from this previous case so ad is equal to your a plus b plus c you are writing here vector a plus vector b plus vector c plus d e vector means your vector d so a e is equal to what r vector so r vector is equal to a vector plus b vector plus c vector plus d vector okay so this is proof this is the polygon law of vector addition so it will be used if you want to add more than two vectors at that time you have to apply this polygon law okay